Good day, I am Trini Brandt, an attorney, notary and conveyancer specializing in liquor license and property law. Today I want to take you through a basic liquor license application. A provincial liquor license will be lodged with your provincial liquor authority. In the Western Cape, we lodge our applications with the Western Cape Liquor Authority. They are based in Balbo. The application form needs to be completed, signed and submitted to the Liquor Authority together with your supporting documents and proof of payment of the application fees. Depending on the type of application that you are bringing, you need to lodge a few supporting documents. If you are applying for the liquor license in your own name, you have to submit proof of your identity in the form of a certified copy of your identity document. You might also need to submit proof of your residential address. In the case of a company, you need to submit the registration documents of the company, that is the latest CIPC documents. In the case of a company applying, you might need to lodge certified copies of the identity documents of the directors as well as the shareholders of the company. The same goes for a CC. In the case of a trust, you might need to submit the trust registration documents as well as copies of the identity documents of the trustees and or beneficiaries. In order to show that your premises is suitable for the intended use, you need to supply a plan of the premises, a site plan with the earth boundaries or the farm boundaries, for example. You might need to submit a zoning certificate that you can obtain from your local municipality. In the case of an on-consumption license, you might want to submit a menu of the food that you will be serving together with the liquor. In the case of a micro-manufacturing license, you will need a letter from the Department of Agriculture certifying that the liquor that you are so producing are in accordance with the liquor laws. In some cases, you need to sign an affidavit in front of a Commissioner of Oaths certifying that you are a suitable person to hold a liquor license, that you don't have a criminal record pertaining to the sale or consumption of liquor. If you need to appoint a manager to the premises, you will submit supporting documents relating to the appointment of the manager, ID, CV, proof of address, etc. Very important is that you write a motivation or representations to the application, describing your business model, describing the premises and motivating the application to the liquor authority. You might also need to submit proof that you have a right to conduct the business on the premises such as a lease agreement or if you own the premises a title deed in some provinces you might need to lodge a police clearance certificate that you can obtain from your nearest south african police services it can take about six to eight weeks to obtain this so take that into account you might need to lodge a be certificate and a valid tax clearance pin it is important that you ascertain the correct procedure for lodging a liquor license application, the correct procedure for your particular province. Different kinds of liquor license applications need to be lodged in different ways. Some liquor license applications need to be lodged with the liquor authority as well as the South African Police Services as well as your local municipality. The costs pertaining to liquor license applications differ from province to province and depending on the type of liquor license application. Some provinces allow for electronic submission of applications and others need the original license application. A license application can take any time between 3 and 12 months from the date of submission until you actually have the license in your hands. So bear that in mind. It depends on various factors such as whether your premises is already fitted and equipped or if you are still in the building process when you lodge your application. It also depends on whether for example the South African police report is final and submitted, whether the municipal report is favorable, whether there are 
objections to your application, for example. A national distribution registration takes approximately four months from the date of submission until approval if you submit all the relevant documentation and your application is detailed. The average fees payable to the liquor authority depends in which province you are situated. It can vary between 500 and 5,000 Rand. That is only the fees payable to the liquor authority. Then, if you want to employ the services of a consultant or an attorney to assist you with the whole process of applying for a liquor license, you might need to make available approximately anything between 5,000 and I would say 30,000 Rand, depending on the type of application and depending where you are based. Thank you for listening to my video. You are welcome to contact me via my website, telephone or email for any inquiries.